आई एन एस अली घाट अब पहले ना न्यूज में आया समवेयर अराउंड ट्वेंटी ऑगस्ट कि ये कमीशन होने वाला है ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑगस्ट को पर ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑगस्ट को जिस दिन ये कमीशन हुआ या नहीं हुआ उस दिन कोई न्यूज नहीं आई उस दिन कोई न्यूज नहीं आई बट इट सीम्स दैट इट हैज बिन कमीशन बट प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड सबमरीन्स आर वॉट सबमरीन्स आर समथिंग विच विल रिमेन अंडर वॉटर सीक्रेट रहने चाहिए पीपल शुड नॉट बी एबल टू ट्रैक इट तो इट हैज बिन कमीशन You will see, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh was all set to commission India's second ship submersible ballistic nuclear marine, a submarine at Vishakhapatnam at the secretive shipbuilding centre in the Eastern Naval Command on 29th August. Though the event, वहाँ पे ना event में spelling mistake हो गया उसे correct कर लीजिएगा. Though the event has been kept under the wraps and the commissioning is set to be done discreetly. But uh, Defence Minister was there. He was in Vishakhapatnam, so it has been. कमीशन सेम थिंग हैपन विद आई एन एस अरिहन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन में वो कमीशन हो गया उसके बारे में हम एटीन नाइनटीन में पढ़ रहे हैं कि वो टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन में कमीशन हो चुके राइट तो सबमरीन सर कमीशन इन बिट सीक्रेटिव मैनर बट यहाँ पे इट्स नॉट ओनली अबाउट सबमरीन क्वेश्चन कुड बी ऑन मेनी डायमेंशन बिकॉज दिस सबमरीन एंश्योर दैट वी आर अचीविंग न्यूक्लियर ट्रायड दिस सबमरीन इज एंश्योरिंग दैट वी आर अचीविंग सेकेंड स्ट्राइक capability so we will understand all these dimensions all these terms also while we are studying uh, INS Arighat so INS Arighat dekho Arighat is name of a submarine but uh, generally when a submarine is built they say in in navy you will see or ek tradition hota hai ki suppose we are building ships of a particular type hai na seven ships of that particular type 1 2 3 4 agar humne first ship ka naam ek cheez rakha hai then the entire class would be called this particular class jaise yahan pe humne submarine ka naam kya rakha first submarine ka arihant so this entire class is called arihant class so while this this will be named ins arighat but this arighat is a submarine of which class arihant class as in future we will see that there are other submarines of the same class being built unless big technology change occurs the class does not change agar usi technology pe usi method se if you are making more submarines they will all be of the same class same time okay so while what has been commissioned ins arighat is commissioned we are studying ins arihan arighat bhi padhenge thoda sa but we are studying ins arihan because ins arighat is of which type which class ins arihan class <laughs> the arihan class submarine is a class of nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine being used by indian navy it's a class of nuclear powered pehli cheez this submarine is powered by nuclear energy there are diesel electric powered submarines also jaise we have scorpion class submarines scorpion class submarines are what diesel electric powered but this is nuclear nuclear powered submarine pehla point hai arihant class submarine is nuclear powered we will see that it has a boiling water reactor which is generating electricity which is being used as the source of energy in the uh, arihant and it is a ballistic missile submarine it is a ballistic missile submarine that is it is capable of launching ballistic missiles two points hai it's a nuclear powered and it is ballistic missile submarine it can launch ballistic missiles ballistic missiles are generally long range missiles up when we when we study missiles in details we will see that broadly there can be two types of missile one is cruise missile and other is ballistic missile ballistic missile follows this projectile path cruise missile does not follow this projectile path it will 
go to a certain height and let's say that the call let's uh, uh, no sorry pehle is pe aate hai ballistic missile follows this uh, path of projectile and its speed will also keep changing as the speed of projectile changes it is lowest here as it go falls down it's very high when you are throwing it when you throw a stone the speed is very high then it slows down as gravity reduces its vertical component it slows down its speed is lowest here and then gravity pulls it in the other direction so it, its speed keeps on increasing its speed is highest here so speed of projectile is highest here highest here and is lower keeps on reducing and then keeps on but in this is ballistic missile in cruise missile it will go to a certain height and then will cruise at a particular speed throughout the this is how cruise missile functions so cruise missiles have to be tracked throughout the way directed throughout the way whereas project uh, ballistic missile are kind of you you have launched it and you know with what speed with what force you have launched it and exactly where it will fall exactly where it's going to go so when you are throwing a stone you know at what angle at what speed you are throwing ki wo kahan pe jayega if you lower the angle or if you slow uh, if you give it less fo less force it will fall at much smaller position hai na usko aap ek bar fek ke bhul jate ho you do not direct it throughout the way but that's not the case with cruise missile cruise missile has to be directed throughout the way but generally what happens jo bade missiles hote intercontinental missiles missiles which are going for 2000 km 3000 km intercontinental missiles are missiles which can go up to 5000 km those are what ballistic missiles so what is it ensuring uh, it has ballistic missile this submarine aryanth class submarine is capable of launching ballistic missiles now it has been developed under advanced technology vessel project uh, the lead vessel of this class is ins aryanth the first vessel the starting vessel of aryanth class is ins aryanth which was launched in 2009 launch means its development shuru hua and it was commissioned uh, in indian navy in 2016 commission means indian navy made it operational started working on it so maybe chai de di mujhe mil gayi dhamka diya tha tumne unhe nahi chali uh, more about ins arihant dekho india by developing uh, this arihant class submarine has become the first country out of the p5 unsc mein panch permanent members hain us russia france uk and china inke alawa there is no country which has ship submersible ballistic nuclear it india has become the first country which has nuclear powered ballistic missile launching capable submarine it is capable of carrying nuclear tipped ballistic missile the class of uh, class is referred as ship submersible ballistic nuclear it is india's first nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine and is propelled by 83 megawatt pressurized light water reactor at its core this is nuclear reactor uh, these are designated to uh, designated to cruise the waters carrying nuclear weapon and provide a nation with an assured second strike capability now let's understand what is this assured second strike capability dekho suppose tomorrow we have a war with china and china uses nuclear weapon now when china will use nuclear weapon it would want to ensure that we ki india is not able to use nuclear weapon otherwise destruction in china will also be huge right so while it is using nuclear weapon it will also try to destroy all our nuclear facilities so that india is not in a position to use nuclear weapon बिकॉज न्यूक्लियर वेपन इंडिया ने भी लॉन्च किया तो चाइना को उतना ही डिस्ट्रक्शन है है ना तो नाउ इंडिया इज अ कंट्री विच हैज नो फर्स्ट यूज पॉलिसी वी विल नॉट यूज न्यूक्लियर वेपन फर्स्ट इन दिस सिचुएशन वी कैन बी एट अ डिसएडवांटेज बट बाय हैविंग सबमरीन विच नो वन नोज इंडियन ओशन में कहां पे है विच नो वन इज एबल टू ट्रैक इफ समन uses nuclear weapon against us against our nuclear facilities against our ships we can assure that second strike to hum kar hi payenge 
So this becomes a deterrence. No one should use nuclear weapon against India because India can for sure. India has assured second strike capability. Though we'll, we are not using it on the first occasion, we, are no, we have no first use policy, but second strike capability we have. And what is ensuring this? Arihant class submarine is ensuring this. You will be asking, sir, why can't other submarines ensure that? Dekho, generally, uh, other submarines also ensure it, but other submarines are not capable of launching ballistic missile. Ballistic missiles are something which can reach uh, every nook and corner of China. Other missiles, cruise missiles, ka itna range nahi hota hai. Pahli cheez. Dusra, when you have diesel electric submarine, in that case, for diesel, you'll have to come up again and again. Chances of you being tracked is high. Aap kaha pe ho, pata lag sakta hai. Dusra, diesel electric submarine make noise. Diesel vehicle, they will be making noise. Diesel engines will be making noise. Nuclear power plants will not. And thus tracking them is further difficult. They will remain in water for a much longer period. Tracking them is difficult. And therefore, they can assure second strike capability. This In this missile, we have uh, K-15 missile. So uh, this, this in this submarine, we have K-50 missile, which has a range of 750 kilometers. And it will also be armed with K-4 missile, which will have a range of 3,500 kilometer. Arihant has four vertical launch tubes which can carry 12 k-15 missile and four uh, and four larger k-4 missiles the design is of arihant is based on a kula one class submarine of russia or charlie class submarine of nato which uh, it weighs around 6000 tons or 6000 uh, into 1000 kgs one ton, one ton is 1000 kg so it weighs around 6000 tons or 6000 into 1000 kg so 6 million kgs ye roughly uh, aspect hai arihant ke bare now when we come to INS Arighat. INS Arihant ka code name kya tha? S2. Aise INS Arighat ka code name was S3. May have been commissioned in India, Indian Navy on 29th August 2024. Why, why am I saying may have been commissioned? Because I do not know. We do not know whether it has been commissioned or not. Right. It is the second submarine of its class after INS Arihant, which was commissioned in 2016. Arihant was commissioned in 2016. It is similar to INS Arihant. Uh, about 112 meter long and has a weight of 6,000 tons. It can carry 10 to 12 K5, K15 nuclear tipped submarine launched ballistic missiles. There are future Arihant vessels also. Third Arihant class submarine will be INS Aridh, Aridhaman, whose code name is, name is S4. It has been quietly launched in November 2022. Launch means it is being manufactured, it, then it will be tested, and uske baad it will be commissioned. It is said to be bigger and more sophisticated and can weigh around 7,000 ton. It's also under construction. So it will be bigger and more sophisticated than INS Arihant and INS Arighat. But please note, it will still be Arihant class submarine because technology and drastic changes are not taking place. Only some improvements are taking place. So INS Arihant, INS Arighat and INS Aridhaman are three of the and Arihant class vessels that we know of, two of them have been commissioned, and another is under construction. We will have many such submarines coming up in future. Now, let's understand nuclear triad and its significance. Triad means ability to launch, nuclear triad means ability to launch nuclear weapons from air, land, and water. Ab dekho, air pe we have various aircraft like Shukhoi, Sukhoi, which is capable of carrying missiles with it. With the help of that, we can launch nuclear weapons also. If you, if you, if you know that on, on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, when nuclear bombs were dropped, they were dropped using aircrafts. You know, literally dropped. Kiya gaya tha. But now, from our aircrafts, missiles can be launched. So from air, we can launch. From land, we have Agni class missiles, which are ballistic missiles, which will be able to, from land to land, surface to surface, they'll be able to launch this thing. And now, even from underwater, we have developed that capability. So, INS Arihant class submarine has allowed us to achieve what? To achieve nuclear triad. India is now capable of launching nuclear weapon from strategic bombers. Strategic bombers are what? 
planes which are capable of launching nuclear weapons intercontinental ballistic missiles agni class of ballistic missiles and submarine launched ballistic missile arihant class submarines can launch these ballistic missiles each leg of the triad contribute unique attributes that enhance deterrence and reduce risk like we are saying ki all these three tri- uh, th- three components of uh, uh, nuclear triad are significant in their own way uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles provide prompt response and geographically dispersed target base that is hamara agni 5 can go to a distance of 5000 km so very easily we can cover large areas long distances and quickly respond to any nuclear attack bombers or aircraft which are capable of carrying nuclear missiles provide great flexibility in force posturing signaling intentions and recallability that is with the help of bombers we can posture we can threaten and we can also have recallability jab tak hiroshima nagasaki pe bomb drop nahi hua tha tab tak us could decide to get it back whereas when intercontinental ballistic missile is launched reverting is not feasible is not possible so it has its own significance great distances and all it has its significance and submarines provide survivable and assured response that is agar hum pe attack hua we are assure uh, we assure you that we are going to attack you with the help of nuclear weapon so the theory behind the triad is that a first strike against a country could not hope to destroy all three legs of triad at once so china if it attacks us it will not be in a position to destroy all three legs of our triad and thus assured second strike is possible assured second strike is feasible so why india needs a second strike capability and how arihant class submarine help we understand because we have no first use policy so no first use policy may strong deterrence is needed other country know that india will not use it first if they use it first uske against deterrence hona chahiye and that biggest deterrence is you will be attacked and by ensure, ensuring second strike capability that deterrence is ensured then uh, chinese nuclear submarines are roaming in indian waters and therefore it's important that we increase our submarine base experts believe that india needs a minimum of four five nuclear submarines to maintain round the clock operation readiness in the indian ocean arihant might be a step in this direction pakistan's ambiguous nuclear weapon policies ke liye bhi like pakistan does not have a no first use policy and ainas arihant also serves as a blueprint for india's future fleet of four to five arihant class submarine we have already seen it in the form of ainas arighat and ainas ali 